Direct carving is, is about um, keeping your mind clear and just uh, having, actually seeing something in it, but not getting too over planned about it. You have to be very open to just pulling some stone away and, and seeing where it goes. Sometimes there's cracks, sometimes there's faults, and um, sometimes you have to change your mind. You, your, your turn, your direction of the torso, its height in, in the stone. Um, basically, everything starts at the belly button and works outwards. A wrinkle carved one-to-one -one into marble is not enough. Um, you have to carve it a little deeper to get the shadow to make it look like a human uh, wrinkle. Um, an eye is usually a little bit larger to make it look correct. Um, you can carve one side of the face but leave everything behind the nose solid and you can turn the face away or if you leave enough up here you can turn the, the face up. It's very challenging marble and granite and carving with purpose like that. Uh, your works last forever. Uh, there's a certain value in that. Uh, if you want to describe what value means, certainly something that lasts forever has value. A good artist should just put the image out and allow everyone to interpret it the way they want. And, uh, and hopefully there's enough metaphor that you haven't over explained it. Uh, you've left something to the imagination. In Europe they call it Stendhal syndrome, um, where people just kind of lose their minds temporarily while they're looking at a work of art. That's what art's about for me. I don't want to personally change the world. I just want someone to have a few blissful moments and maybe be challenged to do something themselves.